Does PayPal give you money back when they hold your money? Well, stay till the end of this video because you will find out the truth about PayPal holds. Hey guys, Abizu here and quick announcement. I just released my uh, free winning product cheat sheet. So basically it's like a PDF guide which will teach you uh, what are the winning product requirements, um, how to find the winner and I will be also showing you a, a few winners and al analyzing them why they are winners. So I highly, uh, I highly recommend you to go to the description and click the link there. Um, you will be also subscribed to my messenger list where I will be sending you daily tips, uh, daily motivation, daily encouragement, you know, because uh, the entrepreneurial journey, like the dropshipping journey, um, it's kind of rough, you know, it's like building a any business, it's kind of a little bit hard, you know, and you need all the support that you can get. So my messenger list is a great place to get support. So yeah, just go down below, get it. And also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. So now let's talk about PayPal holds. Um, a lot of people like don't really understand the holds. A lot of them um, are scared. So let me clarify. So we have three type of holds. So the first one is limitation. Limitation is basically um, when like when something happens with your account, uh, when you like scale too much, you know, or you change some inf information. Uh, they they just limit 100% of your money. Uh, it's usually for like 72 to 96 hours usually, and they just hold all your money. So you're not able to withdraw. You're not able to pay with PayPal. Uh, you can just receive money, you know. And this usually lasts for, like I said, um, 72 to uh, 96 hours uh, while they verify. And once it's verified, um, they usually like they usually like stop the 100% limitation. Then the next thing is the hold. So hold, they usually call it, I think it's a collateral hold or something, something like that, or jump start. It's like a jump start hold. And that is basically that they straight away, they take like, let's say 25K. This is what happened to me. So they took 25K immediately out of my account and they put it on hold for 30 days. Uh, other people, what I heard is that um, they hold like 25k until the goods arrive. Uh, there is also another option that I heard, and um, yes, so the money actually you get it back. Of, uh, you get it back, of course. Um, they they told me like 30 days. Um, in reality, it was I think like 31, maybe 32 days because there were weekends. So yeah, it was around 32 days. So PayPal kept their promise. Um, then. Uh, then there is uh, the rolling reserve and rolling reserve is basically that they, they take a percentage of your each of your sale. So let's say you sell a $40 product and uh, they hold, let's say, 20%. So that's like $8. So whenever uh, someone, someone like buys from you, you will, received, uh, you will receive $40 minus the PayPal fee and then, the, then also um, the 20% rolling reserve will be also put on hold. So you will not be able to access that money. You will be not able to pay with those money. It is just temporarily frozen. And usually from what I heard is that I heard some people uh, that, that, they have, that have a good dropshipping business, their rolling reserve is like 10% for 45 days, but this is pretty rare. Uh, what's usual, um, what happened to me is 20% uh, for 60 days. Uh, but I also heard someone have 30% for 60 days or 20% for 90 days. So it's, it is pretty individual, you know. Uh, but when you get a hold, um, all you need to do is you need to send them all the documents uh, that they need. It's usually like tracking numbers, your business documents. Um, they'll probably ask about your business, you know, if it's dropshipping, uh, stuff like that. They will most likely also need your ID. Uh, invoices, you know, and stuff like that. They will, they will need a lot of information from you and make sure to give them everything uh, that they need and make sure like, uh, like really, really make sure to give them all real documents. Don't fake anything. Like I don't, I don't, I don't need to even explain why, why you shouldn't send fake invoices or fake documents. Like never do that. Okay guys, never, like never send fake stuff to 
PayPal or Facebook because they are your partners, right? So you need to you need to build and keep good relationships, a good relationship with them, you know. So, you know, guys, um, the reason why PayPal uh, does holds is because they're also running a business and they're trying to protect themselves. Um, what what I saw like in the dropshipping space is, is that there are some scammers. So those people they scale to like 100k, 200k, 300k very very fast, uh, like within a month, and they don't even ship the products. You know they they send fake uh, tracking numbers or they don't even send uh, tracking numbers, and they make all the money and they take it out of PayPal and they just run away and don't fulfill the orders and. You know, like you are like those people, those people are screwing the customers and then they're, they're also screwing PayPal because let's say they scale to 300K with PayPal only, then PayPal is held liable. So PayPal like loses the 300K because or not 300K, uh, like probably 300K because they have to refund the money to the customers, you know. Um, so that's why PayPal does the holds. It's for their own security. Um, if you if you run a clean white hat business, uh, you send the goods, you uh, you like upload tracking numbers, you do everything right, you take care of your customers, you will be totally fine. You don't have to worry about PayPal. You know, it is like a minor setback. It is something that slows you down. But um, in general, I think it's a good thing because it keeps everyone safe. It keeps the customer safe, uh, and it it just keeps people honest, you know, because if PayPal wouldn't do that, there would be much, much like way more sca uh, scammers that would just scale and not fulfill orders, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, this quick video. Um, if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, I just released a free case study. It's like a 40 minute case study that you can watch. It's pretty educa educational. You can learn a lot of stuff there. And uh, if you like what you see, what you have learned, uh, and you would like to skyrocket, you wanna go to the fast lane and just get get results faster and progress faster. Uh, you can apply for my coaching. You know, just a disclaimer: um, I don't I don't accept any, like everyone. You know, um, like I'm not looking to coach as many as as many people as possible. Um, I'm just looking to work with a few select people that I can help really grow to five and six figures per month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and have a nice day.